my little peanut Madison love her to pieces sent her a picture and she this morning and she said dad you're a moron you and Mike you're both morons so I sent her a picture and she called us both a moron <laughs> can you believe that what was she thinking well what she was thinking is dad and Mike are morons see that this is um, a piece of my jacket ripped off wrapped around my finger with Gorilla Tape wrapped around that because I was drilling a hole and when I drilled that hole my knuckle went down right beside a gang box gang box went up the skin on the side of my knuckle sliced it right open now it's not a deep cut but bled like a stuck pig now bad things happen all the time now I could be blaming God because God allowed this to happen because he did there's a country song that talks about all the things that the questions this girl's going to have when she gets to heaven and then she said one of them and couldn't you stop that car from crashing because there was this kid that was killed in a car accident basketball player died god could you have stepped in and fixed that well yeah god could and you know what a lot of times god does but for more often than not god doesn't and i'm going to tell you why most of the problems that we deal with and the things that we struggle with in life are of our own design. We ask God, why did you make me look this way because of our weight? And the reality is, for a good portion of us, it's not that we have a weight problem, but we have a lifestyle problem. I don't exercise. I don't eat healthy. And then I have some weight that I don't want, or I don't have the strength that I do want, or I don't have the energy that I expect. And why don't I have it? It's not because God hasn't provided everything for me to have it. It's just I've chosen a different lifestyle. I think eating a frozen pizza is a lot easier than cooking vegetables. I think that <laughs> one of those Stouffer's pot pies, which has potatoes and peas in it, is enough vegetables. But those things are so processed, I'm not even sure they ever started as vegetables. But I can pretty much guarantee that there's not a whole lot of nutrients in them. But that's what I choose. We choose lifestyles that aren't healthy, and then we ask God, why did you allow these things to happen? But God said, I didn't allow it to happen. You pursued it. A lot of times I think if God was going to stop all the evil in the world, he wouldn't let us out of bed in the morning. Because the reality is we cause so many of our own problems, and God allows us to feel the consequences of that. So then when we turn to him and choose the lifestyle that he's called us to, we recognize the difference. We recognize a more healthy lifestyle. Paul said, I beat my body into submission. I think when Paul's saying that, he was talking about self-discipline. He was talking about exercise. He was talking about doing all the things that he could so that it wasn't a physical problem that caused him to not serve God to the best of his capacities. Now, even when he got old and it says he had a thorn in the flesh and God allowed that. So there are sometimes God does allow painful things to come into our life. But God does that again. He said, Paul asked, he goes, why don't you get, why won't you take that away? He asked three times and God said, my grace is sufficient for you because my strength is made manifest and made perfect in your weakness. So the reality is in everything, God wants to show us that his way is the best. And sometimes he wants to show us that we need his strength because that's the only way we're going to recognize what God is doing. I like in the Old Testament where Gideon was called to take out the Midianites and God kept whittling down his army. Why? Because God wanted to say, this is, when this happens, nobody's going to question whether or not that this was a God thing because this is a me thing. Sometimes God sets us up in in positions of weakness so he can show his power but I will tell you this when we ignore the, inst the, the instructions of God when we ignore the truth that we need to take care of our bodies when we ignore the very real reality that we need whatever we put into our bodies is going to affect us physically emotionally mentally and we don't take care of ourselves don't blame God just ask God for wisdom and the self-discipline. Because self-discipline is one of the spiritual fruits of the Spirit. But allow God to use, come through His Holy Spirit and discipline us to eat better, to exercise better, to look after ourselves better. I need to. And I hope that's been an encouragement to you because this is what I believe. When we choose 
to take care of our bodies. When we choose to take care of anything that God has blessed us with and given, God gives us the strength to use it in the way that he's called us to. So, hope that's been an encouragement to you. Have a great day. Bye for now.